Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I'd like to give a special thanks to South Day Toyota for giving me time with the 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone. If you guys are in the market for a Toyota, be sure to check out South Day Toyota and ask for Tony. He will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about pricing here for the Tundra Capstone. Starting price is $75,880. This one stickers for $83,565. Let's see if Toyota actually built a Lexus-like pickup truck, but let's get into the review. Looking at the front fascia here of the Toyota Tundra Capstone, I love the black exterior paint with the aluminum and chrome trim throughout this vehicle. Looking at these headlights here very quickly, these are an LED projector headlight with an automatic low and high beam, sequential turn signal, also with an LED daytime running light. I love the large grille here. Toyota is known for having very large grills, and this one does have the blue accent because this comes with the iForce Max powertrain, which is the hybrid powertrain option. It's also the front facing camera. This portion down here is for the driver's assistance. There's the Tundra name, which is proudly stamped in the lower part of the bumper here. That's front parking sensors. There's also these LED fault lights here, which is very bright. If you guys go for the TRD Pro uh, version of the Tundra, there will be a full light bar here in the actual grill. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the capstone version of the Tundra. This vehicle also has 8.5 inches of ground clearance. So it's kind of okay because this is really a luxurious truck. You're not going to really take this off-roading. That's why you guys go for the TRD Pro version version of the Tundra. Looking at the side profile, this has an overall length of 233.3 inches with a wheelbase of 145.7. So good proportions here in the full size truck segment. Looking at these wheels and tire, I love the rim design here on the capstone model. These are a 26550 Bridgestone tire. They're wrapped in this 22 inch rim design. Just like the other competitors in the segment, it does ride on very large rims here. That's also body colored uh, panels here there's the capstone name at the lower part of the door panel there's this chrome mirror cap here also with this led side marker chrome accent to door handles more chrome trim here at the lower part of the uh, door panel there also around the capstone badging there and up top this one does come with a large panoramic sunroof here which lets light and air into the cabin this one also comes with the crew cab also with the five and a half foot bed you can go for a six and a half foot bed but unfortunately you guys cannot go for that eight foot bed Toyota just does not allow that it's just too much overall length for a vehicle this size and looking here at the side angle here as you guys see i love this nice kink in the actual panel here and toyota is very proud that there's no hanging gaps like the other competitors in the segment which is really nice so toyota is basically building a world-class truck here or a lexus like truck looking at the rear of the vehicle looking at the turn signals as you guys can see there is sequential as well just like the front fascia more aluminum uh, plates here there's also rear parking sensors and this vehicle can tow 10,340 pounds there's your seven and four pin connectors here also led lights for the tag there's the tundra name spelled very boldly here with this chrome uh, finish there chrome on the handle here also this one does have the review camera option with the backup camera of course this one wears the 4x4 badge and if you press this button here on the side it does let down the uh, bed here which has the spray on bed liner and also this uh, pop-up step so you guys can get into the bed very easily here and this does have a payload of around 1400 pounds so it's very capable there are some tie down hooks back here also led lights off to this side over here it's a 400 watt inverter there if i'm not mistaken and this right here you can uh, fold this down really quick let me get off the truck and now you're kind of having a, a bed extender this one's fully loaded here guys you can't get no more options this is from toyota this is the extended uh bed extender there but letting that back down and lifting up the tailgate here i just wish toyota would off offer a power up function like the competitors and once you lift the bed up as you guys can see the running board will pop back underneath the truck but let me know what you guys think about the capstone version of the tundra Looking at the key fob here for the Toyota Tundra Capstone, that's the same corporate like key from Toyota. There's a lock, unlock, the button to let down the tailgate, also a panic button with the Toyota logo right there. Unfortunately, I wish it would have said Capstone on the back of the key fob or Toyota. I'm not sure why Toyota didn't put that, but walking up to the Capstone here, just rest your hand behind the door handle. As you guys can see, the mirrors will power unfold and the vehicle will unlock. But before you get inside, you can rest your finger here. I did it too quickly, but once you guys do that, the mirrors will power fold in and the vehicle is already locked. But once I open up the door, the running boards will pop from underneath the vehicle there. There is lumbar support. Your sitting controls are here. This is for the extended thigh support. So if you guys need a little bit more thigh support, Toyota does give you that there. The seats are very supportive and comfortable. I love the nice two-tone color combination 
throughout this interior with the open pore wood. We'll talk about that in a few seconds. Looking at the materials here on the door panel, nice high quality leather, nice stitching with this aluminum accent door handle. It is up and down for all four windows. There's two press memory seats, more than nice open pore wood. It feels really nice to touch. You can power forward the mirrors in via this control here. The lock controls, mirror adjustment controls. I like this nice texture here on the speaker cover. There is additional uh, cup holder and storage space here. Nice area here to rest your elbows. I'm not sure how this white interior uh, in a sense will hold up over time. If you guys purchase this truck, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys have kids and whatnot? Because I know kids, they will leave a lot of smear and dirt marks inside this white interior, especially, especially if they're under age. But getting into this truck here, there's this nice grab handle here. But getting inside this vehicle, as you guys can see, great visibility throughout this truck. Nice 14 inch display here. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. But reach over here to shut the door of the Tundra. The power button is right here because this one is the iForce Max. You guys are greeted by this large display here, which shows you five different national parks. And this is a fully digital display. If you guys go for another trim level, Toyota will give you like an analog uh, display. We're going to talk about the materials here for the door panel. As you guys can see, more than open pour wood, aluminum trim around the air vents here, which blow very cold air, especially right now. It's like 100 degrees outside. This one also has the rear view camera uh, digital mirror there. You guys can fold it to look traditional. If you guys don't want that, you can put it as that uh, digital uh, option there. There is LED lights throughout the cabin. There's a sunglass holder here. That's your SOS button, SOS button, just in case you guys get into an emergency. This one also has a very bright heads up display, nice leather on the dashboard, big volume knob here. There's no two knob, unfortunately. This also has dual climate control with three level heated and cool seats. The cool seats blow very cold air as I'm speaking to you guys right now. Over here is for your driver's assistance. Over here is your volume control. You can change this display here ever so slightly. It does show you your fuel. Right now I have 311 miles until empty, but that's not with the vehicle uh, being completely full. Uh, going over here really quick, uh, pressing the side button. And right now the gas engine shut off. So right, right now we're just using ele the electric current. The battery is three notches to it. The vehicle will basically charge itself. There's your trailer uh, select system there, your audio source, your compass, and there is your eco uh, mode there. This also has a sport mode. We'll talk about that in the driving scene. There's the headlight and turn signal stock. Over here's a wind wiper stock there. I like this nice uh, steering wheel, very thick rim. You can raise your hand in different areas. There's a Toyota logo here on the airbag cover. My apologies for the, um, the high uh, fan speed is just so hot outside today. This is for the uh, trailer backup assist here. As you guys can see, it does not have a trailer set. Over here is for your trailer brake control, auto hold, electronic parking brake. This house is a 10 speed automatic transmission. It does show you a very large backup camera there with trajectory distance markers there. There's different angles around this vehicle as well. There's a front angle. You can look at the side, the side uh, tires there so you guys don't curb those 22 inch rims. Very beautiful rim design here on the capstone trim. There's your guide markers there. Kicking over here down to the left, there's a sport mode and transmission. It's a 10 speed auto. Over here's your drive mode selector, which shows you uh, eco, sport, and normal. So this one only has three different drive modes here. Push this in to go into four high, to go into four low also, and it would do it like that. Unfortunately, this vehicle is missing a automatic uh, function there and or an auto uh, function. Other competitors do offer that. More of that nice wood there. Open this up. It does reveal a decent amount of storage. You probably put your wallet in there. Push this back. This one does have the uh, safe here, so you guys can set your own pin and whatnot. Open it up. Very deep. You guys probably put your personal belongings in there. Personally, I would do that also. There's a Type C port and also a USB A port right there. Uh, this does take up some space, as you guys can see also. So it is very shallow in there. My wallet it fits in there just fine. Looking at this area here, more of that nice wood. Push this here, it does reveal two cup holders. This one also has a wireless phone charger, of course. My iPhone 13 Pro Max does fit in there just fine. Uh, pushing this button right here, it does give you a, pro a proximity uh, scan around the truck. The graphics look okay. I think you can also change the color of the truck, if I'm not mistaken. There's your traction control, which is here, hazard button. Um, like I mentioned, dual climate control. Nice leather, more than nice wood to touch. Looking at the glove compartment, it does offer a large storage in there, which is super nice. Pulling this back down. Above me, you can also let down the rear glass via this control here, which is really nice. That's still the Tundra uh, way of doing things. Press that button right there. It does reveal the large panoramic sunroof here with the shade uh, open here. The seats, like I mentioned, are supportive. They're comfortable. Let's look at the Apple CarPlay very quickly. 
Um, you guys can get a subscription from Toyota. They will do over-the-air updates once you guys are a subscribed uh, member there. But look at, looking at the Apple CarPlay, the icons are just so large. Look at Google Maps display. It takes up the whole entire screen. I'm sorry, this is Waze, but it does take up the whole entire screen. The audio source in this vehicle is a JBL sound system. Toyota is partnered up with JBL. It is a really good sound system in this vehicle. Going back here to the home screen. If, like I mentioned, Toyota does not have a physical home screen for this system. You have to be a subscribed uh, user. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys how that looks because this is not my personal truck. This belongs to the dealership or until someone basically buys uh, this vehicle here. But like I mentioned, the icons are very large and very bright. The display kind of eats into the visibility just a little bit. For my taste, you just have to adjust the seat just a little bit. The bulges, as you guys can see, uh, not really a deal breaker for me when it comes to visibility, but I do like the way that they look from the outside, but not just too much in the interior. But let me know what you guys think about this interior of the Toyota Capstone. Opening the rear door of the Toyota Tundra Capstone, as you guys can see real quick, the running boards do pop from underneath the vehicle. So if you, if you guys have short children, they can get into this very large truck here. And Toyota does wrap the handle here with leather, which is really nice. Looking at the materials here on the door panel, nice high quality leather, nice stitching. I love the nice two-tone color combination with this aluminum, aluminum accent to door handle with this nice open pour wood, which feels really nice to touch. Nice storage compartment here more storage and cup holder space down here. I like the nice uh, finish to the speaker cover here. But if you guys are looking to put some things underneath the rear seat, this is where Toyota kind of dropped the ball, but this is where they have to put the battery pack for this hybrid option here. Lifting up the seat, as you guys can see, this is where the battery component lives. So if you guys want to put, put things underneath the rear seat, unfortunately you guys can't do it as, for example, my book bag, the first aid kit in the front uh, tag plate there because I can't put it underneath the physical seat because this is where the battery pack lives. I love the nice two-tone uh, color combination throughout this vehicle here. But to get into the truck, like I mentioned, running boards, nice leather grab uh, handle here. But getting back here, as you guys can see, plenty of foot space underneath the driver's seat. Toyota says this has 41.2 inches of legroom space, which is really good. It's not class competitive. That still belongs to the Ram, which has around 45 inches of legroom space. But above me, Toyota has finally offered a large panoramic sunroof here for this new generation of Tundra. There is two mat pockets for storage. There's rear cup holders, rear air vents, three level heated and cooled seats, type C port, also with a type A port with a household outlet. The floor back here is not flat, but you can fit three people across. This truck is very wide, as you guys can see also. And I'm looking over here really quick, you guys can see the accent lighting throughout this vehicle. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys at night because I'm limited with this truck for a couple of hours or so. There's also LED lights throughout the cabin. You can still let down the rear window. That's still a Tundra thing that you guys can do. Putting this armrest down here, it, do, it does reveal two cup holders. And this is the only truck in the segment which has these beautiful pleasant blocker or hater block column. But as you guys can see real quick, it does block out light that you guys don't need if you're sitting in the back seat and you wanted to uh, get a quick nap. It, and above there is this uh, handle here so you guys can hang up a jacket or something or your kids clothes for recital. This is not the pickup truck that I would go for. Unfortunately, this two-tone color combination I'm a little worried about. If you guys have smaller kids, they like to you know, smear things and stuff. But if you guys have a nice detailer that will keep your truck clean, the capstone is not going to disappoint. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the Toyota Tundra iForce Max. Open up the hood here. This uses Toyota's 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. This powertrain makes 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. It is hooked up to a 10 speed automatic transmission, which is in house uh, design transmission. It, it's not like Ford and GM, which basically they co developed their transmission together. Toyota basically built their own 10 speed automatic transmission. As you guys can see, the orange cables, because this is the iForce Max, like I mentioned. As this vehicle sits here, it weighs in around 6,100 pounds, so she ain't light because she does have the extra battery pack on this vehicle and whatnot. And Toyota says the payload for this vehicle is around 1,400 pounds with a towing capacity of 10,340 pounds. Keep in mind, some other competitors do tow more than the Tundra. Let's talk about fuel economy here for the Tundra. This is why you guys go for the iForce Max, in my opinion. Open up the fuel door here. This is ready to get 19 in the city, 22 on the highway, and 20 combined. So the time has finally come guys and I'm driving the 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone, the most luxurious Tundra that you guys can buy and that power train just sounds so good. I know they dropped the V8, you guys are crying, whoop, 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 whoop. I'm crying too. I love V8s the way they sound, just how naturally aspirated that they were. But times have changed guys and everything is going turbocharge, uh, twin turbo options, electrification. Uh, Toyota is rumored to be working on an electric uh, trucks very very soon they haven't confirmed just yet but let's talk about 
acceleration here from the Tundra. This is all new for 2022, this generation is. But let's come to a stop here. This is their twin turbo V6. Let's put the vehicle into its sport mode here. As you guys see, it does display there on the large infotainment system that you guys cannot miss. But let's just ease off the brake because right now, really quick, before we do the acceleration run, the vehicle is driving in electric range, but you cannot go a certain speed, which this is crazy because it's a large pickup truck which weighs, which weighs around 6,100 pounds. And right now, guys, I'm just using the electric uh, assist to basically move this large pickup truck, but you can't drive it um, no faster than 20 plus miles an hour because the battery package is not, it's not too, it's not big enough to basically move this truck along in all electric range. But let's just floor it from a stop here. And that's the speed limit there. Oh my God, this truck just sounds so good. And it's so smooth, especially with these 22 inch rims, just like the other competitors in the segment. I just hit a little bump there and basically guys, they didn't even fill it in the cabin. This thing just drives so damn smooth. The visibility out of this truck is great. Uh, the bulges, they kind of do eat into the visibility just a little bit, but it's not a deal breaker for me, like I mentioned. But it's really nice that Toyota does um, offer this large truck still, especially you can get this with a crew cab. Also with the five and a half foot bed or even with a six and a half foot bed. And <laughs> this truck is just, it just puts a smile on my face how good this powertrain is. But let's talk about the powertrain specs here real quick. This is Toyota's 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. This powertrain makes 437 horsepower and 583 pound feet of torque for uh, that's hooked up to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Good powertrain. I sampled this, but now with the iForce Max, which has electric assist. The battery pack lives underneath the rear seat. So, like I mentioned, if you guys are trying to put some things under the rear seat, you can't do it because that battery pack lives underneath the rear seat. And with this thing in sport mode, it will wake this truck up. And that's 45 right there. Just, this thing is just super impressive. The technology that Toyota offers, nice heads up display, large infotainment system, the digital camera review mirror. If you guys don't like that, there's a traditional option there. But me personally, I would just leave it on the digital uh, screen there. This also has Toyota driver's assistance, which includes a uh, blind spot monitoring, uh, foreclosure warning, lane keeping assist, lane departure, also with the active uh, lane trace assist, so it will keep you centered in the lane. In the lane, this also has adaptive cruise control. You can set the pace if you want to guys. If you guys want to be closer or farther, the materials, Bravo Toyota, just luxurious interior uh, that this vehicle offers. Three level heated and cooled seats. But let's take it out of its sport mode. And this is let it the exhaust kind of simmer down a little bit. Let's put it into its eco mode here. But like I mentioned, this vehicle will drive at low speeds uh, with the help of the battery pack once it's at a, a good charge. And also, I just love the, this Tundra. Like me personally, guys, I, I'm in love with the Tundra. Right now, with this vehicle not having a full tank of gas, it says this thing will get 308 miles until it's completely empty. You can kind of hear a little bit of the turbo whistle from uh, the, um, the twin turbo V6. The powertrain delivery is just so smooth. It knows what, uh, right gear, what right gear to be in. The seats in here, they're supported, they're comfortable, but they're for a person with a wider frame. I'm not really that wide across, but if you guys like this, if you guys want to test drive this truck, be sure to check out South Day Toyota and test out the seats for yourself. But right now, the engine is shut off. So when the light turns green, we're going to see how far I can get it. Um, on electric range, or just to use the battery only, not the gas engine. You kind of have to be like, it's kind of walk, like walking on eggshells in a sense, you have to be very gentle with the throttle. But let's see what happens. I feel like it, it'll do it, but since the battery pack is just not so big, oh, never mind, the gas engine just cut back on. And look at these idiots. The gas engine just cut back on. So unfortunately, guys, I can't show you guys, but if you have to pass once to get onto the highway, it does a good job of letting you get up uh, up to speed. The 10 speed and the transmission, like I mentioned, is just so good. 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque, 10 speed automatic transmission. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful powertrain. Fuel economy is right at 19 city, 22 highway, and 20 combined. The gas mileage is decent, decent, just like the other competitors in the segment. But this is the only truck to offer a hybrid um, option like this from Toyota, let me rephrase that because Ford does offer the F-150 hybrid uh, also, which that gets a much better gas mileage, like one to two MPG, but 
honestly guys i just honestly just love this truck toyota basically built a lexus um which the the two companies are technically the same they just basically branched off from each other but this is a lexus toyota basically in a sense this interior is just so up to part compared to the previous generation which is which was which was basically lagging and a lot of things but toyota uh, rectify that by basically offering this new generation new powertrain better fuel economy better tech uh more nicer materials more premium uh filling in uh, interior but if you guys are looking for the pinnacle toyota and you have the big bucks to spend because toyota is axing a nice pretty penny for this vehicle but keep in mind the other competitors can top up ninety thousand dollars or if not more than that so i really think this truck is a, a bargain in my opinion because some other manufacturers kind of do a, get kind of get a little loose when it comes to pricing up these vehicles but you guys are really paying for you know the premium touches and just you know a lot of things that you guys want in a full-size pickup truck after spending time with the 2022 Toyota Tundra Capstone, this shows you that Toyota is very serious when it comes to building an upscale truck, just like the other competitors in the segment, Ford, GM, also Ram. So Toyota did not disappoint here with the all new Tundra. The Capstone is the pinnacle in the Tundra's lineup. Let me know what you guys think about the Capstone in general. I like the nice two-tone color combination. The powertrain is just silky smooth. I love the 10-speed automatic. The exterior styling looks different from the other competitors in this segment. But let me know if you guys will purchase the Capstone over the other trim levels here on the Tundra's lineup. But that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive on Reviews. Hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications and I'll see you all in the next video.